Welcome to Microsoft Azure session. In this module, we will talk about and understand what are the different services offered under the storage services, backup and recovery. The agenda of this module is how to plan the storage services, implement and manage your Azure storage services, implement your Azure content delivery network, how to implement the backup, and how to plan and implement Azure site recovery. Microsoft Azure Storage Services uh, provides you a range of options for storing and accessing data. So once you use this storage services, you can have a large range of the services which you can choose based on your business requirement. The core services uh, consists of four storage types known as, as blob, table, queue, and files. So these four, these are four services, storage services we can say that offered under the Azure environment. A part of this, Microsoft Azure also offered you a storage capabilities to facilitate the recovery and to assist in implementing their business continuity and disaster recovery objectives. And these services include Azure Backup and Azure Site Recovery. So using this Azure Backup and Site Recovery, you can use it for the backup purpose or for the disaster recovery and business continuity purpose. These four type of the storage uh, basically depends on the type of the data they are handled. So they are designed to use different data of uh, different type of the data, and based on that, we classified the storage services into the four categories. If you look for the blob, which is the first one, uh, this is typically represent unstructured file and used for uh, storing the unstructured file such as media, content, virtual machine disk, backup, or logs. These blobs are further classified in the three types. One is known as block blob, and it is optimized for sequential access. Another one is known as page blob, which provides you superior random access capabilities. And the third one referred as the append blob, uh, which is used for data append operation. So you can, out of these three, you can choose whatever the best is required for your business requirement. And then you can build your application on top of it. The next type of the storage service is a table. The table type of the storage used for hosting non-relational and partially structured content which may consist of multiple rows of data with different types of uh, different set of properties. Queues. Queues are basically a temporary storage for messaging that as you use it uh, for in asynchronously communicating with other uh, services. So it's key uh, queue is basically used for the uh, asynchronous communication. The last one is file, and uh, file is, uh, you can use the way you are using the traditional on-premises, the Windows file shares. These are basically provided for unstructured file, where you can create a folder and then a folder, subfolder, and then uh, keep your data. So to access these um, storage services, uh, you need to create an, a storage account into the uh, Azure environment. By default, you can create up to 100 storage accounts. And if you want to, and this is a soft limit, if you want to have uh, been created, you can uh, 
uh, you can raise the request and then increase it. And each student, um, uh, storage account is capable of hosting up to a 500 terabyte of data. So once you create this um, account, you need to provide the name and the location, which location uh, you are going to choose. Uh, maybe this uh, location maybe depend on your uh, uh, which is close to your user application or services so that you can get a best response time another important option is related to a replication once you create this storage account it gives you a four different type option which you can choose it with respect to the replication one of its locally redundant means your data replicates within the same region so if one of the facility in this region uh, uh, goes down because it is uh, replicating the uh, this uh, data across the within a single facility in a single region but what happened If your data, if hardware goes down, probably there is no issue because you can uh, your data may be available. But if the facility itself is down, probably then will be issue because it is a local uh, within a single facility in a single region. So this, this it may create an issue. Another one is a zone redundant. Your data replicates across uh, multiple facilities in a single region. So you can avoid the issue which you are facing into the local redundancy. Here, if your facility goes down, you probably you get the data, but the problem will come if your entire region goes down. In that case, you are not; it cannot be protect you against the failure. Another one is geo redundant. Your data replicates between the two different region. Now, in this cases. If the failure occurs in the primary region, probably you can fail over to the secondary region. And the last one is read access geo redundant. In this one, your data replicates asynchronously within two regions and synchronously within a region. So when you uh, assume that you want to create an, a blob storage, under the blob, you can store the large amount of unstructured data in the form of files, which basically reside into the container. So what happened when you want to store any data into the blob? The blob is a basic concept is a container. So assume that if this is a container and you need to copy, you, then if you want to create some, for, uh, some uh, folder, probably you can create in this folder and only into this container and then your data can be stored in this folder. Each blob can be a hundreds of gigabyte in size. So what happened? Assume that you have a, assume you are, a, when you created a storage account, probably your name of the storage account may be my account. And the container which you are creating may be known as my container. Under this one, probably you are uploading any file which can be a my file which can be a JPG file. Then you can access it using the URL under this URL. So in this case, if you see this. Uh, my account is your name of your account my container is your container name and this my blob is your jbg file blob.core.windows.net is your endpoint which you are using it to access this entire file and which contains into the container so once you create this blob, you need to define the type of the blob 
remember we have just uh, discussed about the three types of the block like block blob page block or append block so once you creating this blob storage type you can use one of these things remember the block page or a block blob is uh, divide the data into a smaller chunk of 4 megabyte and which you can use to upload or download in parallel this they can do it so that you can um, because this because uh, you can say that block blobs are optimized for upload and downloads and each individual block can be up to a 200 gb in size another one is a page block which is optimized for random and read and write operation it is each of blob which is our access as a page can be a 512 byte in size another one which is a append blob basically append blog are strictly for append operation because they don't support modification to their existing content <laughs> table storage you can use this table storage to store your partially structured data in tables. The similar like what we are talking about how you access the table storage. The same way you need to do those for table storage. You have assumed your, your account name is my account. Your uh, table storage name is my table. Then probably you can access like my account dot table dot. So instead of a blob it is known as table.co.windows.net slash my table a queue storage is basic provide the temporary messaging storage and the developers actually use these queues to facilitate for reliable exchange of message between uh, different components within a distributed system when you want to access it then the same concept my account then what happened instead of the blob or table the point can be q.core.windows.net so in just such a case if your uh, queue name is my queue then you can access like my account.q.core.windows.net slash my queue the file storage the file storage allows you to create a server message block file shares in azure like you are doing it for on premises file server each within each file share you can create multiple levels of folder to categorize content as per your requirement and the files can be up to 1 tb in size so let's log into the azure portal and see how to create a blob let's go to uh, in your portal to go to your storage account and then create a storage account now you need to give the name of this storage account maybe my account then what happened my account dot core dot windows dot net becomes your link as my account was not available so I use my account TR then you can select type of the model maybe resource or classical account type general purpose or blob storage performance standard or premium now you can select all the different zone type uh, replication zone redundant locally geo and read access subscription if you are creating a free one or visual Stu uh, studio enterprise we can use it either one or if you are in move into the production probably you can use for the production one you need to create a new resource group also if it is not created earlier you can create a new resource group and then you need to also select the location which is best suitable based on your presence of users and business then create it refresh your page and then you can see your account is created so let's log into the account select blob 
let's create a container name as my container under the blob and access should be anyone can access it uh, from the public so let's see how people can access it we create it now my container i have created a container under this container you can upload any file let's select the file any file i created sample file let's upload it and this is your url which you need to access from your internet explorer let's open it copy let's put the right url and access it now you see we can able to access this file which is sample.txt which i created into the my container under the my account tr of the storage account thank you i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat